So I'm in Chino, California today at the Plains of Fame Air Museum here. And this is a very active place for restoration. And there's a huge boneyard here full of old planes, either waiting to be restored or to be picked apart for other planes. And you just don't see this kind of stuff here. Look at this plane. I mean, I have never seen anything like this. These planes are always so perfectly restored and which is great, but man, this really shows the character. And I'm not sure this is damaged from a war, but it certainly looks like it is to me. There's a lot of interesting unrestored planes here. I mean, we've all seen the restored ones and they're beautiful, but there's so much character and so many stories that come from looking at a plane that has been sitting for decades or something that was damaged like this. There's even a huge airplane parts yard here. There are hangars that are designated for restoration. So I'm going to take you around here and show you this because this is, I feel like this is stuff that the average person does not get a chance to see too often. This is what I would call a true airplane boneyard. Wow, these things are impressive. Have you ever seen a pile of airplane engines sitting here like this? I certainly have not. Even inside there is just all kinds of propellers and wing parts, rudder parts. I really like this stuff, old military planes and things like that, but I really don't know what I'm looking at. So hopefully some of you do. Look at these wings right here. Man, a lot of this stuff looks like it was most likely shot up in a war or maybe ripped apart to get specific pieces out of it. Tons of different stuff in here. You know, many of us have been to museums, airplane museums and air shows, and we've seen these military planes restored and looking beautiful, but I think it's rare to see it like this, to see this is what it looks like before they get restored and um, see what it looks like when they're found or when they're, when they're brought in. I guess this stuff was picked off of maybe maybe planes that were not salvageable and now those parts will go into the planes that can be restored so this stuff is just sitting here waiting for its new life I'm guessing that these planes here are possibly uh, waiting to be restored who knows? It doesn't look like these are specifically parts planes, but I really don't know what I'm talking about, so. Look at that, it's not every day you get this close to these type of planes. Yeah, I mean, being able to see these things unrestored like this, to me, it's, it's more interesting. It really asks so many more questions. You know, where, where were these things for all these years? 
you know, who found them or who had them. And how did they get here? I highly doubt that most of these flew in here under their own power. There's a lot of different planes from all over the world. It's not just U.S. planes. I've seen Italian planes, German planes, Japanese, Russian. I've seen some Russian MiG planes. The Hangover. Good movie. This is an area where they are actively restoring some of these planes. There's a couple different hangars that have this stuff kind of going on. There's a few different hangars here that have people working on planes at various states of restoration. These look like they are just getting some minor repairs. This one looks like maybe an oil change is getting done. You can't just bring this thing to Jiffy Lube, that's for sure. So inside some of these hangars, they do have restored planes as well as some unrestored planes, such as this BF-109 that was built in 1939. It was shot down and crash landed in 1942 and landed on a frozen lake, fell through the ice, and it wasn't recovered until 2003. And it's so amazing that the Nazi insignia Still on the tail. Man, that is awesome. So coming into a different hangar here, this one, probably my favorite hangar in this entire place because it's filled with planes that I love here. P-51s, P-40s. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now this is my favorite military plane. This is the P-51. Um, I actually flew in one of these last summer and I have a video of it, so I'm going to put a link down below so you can check that out. But these things are amazing. By far my favorite. And there's a couple of them here. Look how beautiful. These things are so fast and so powerful for their time and so responsive. I almost got sick flying in it.
That's a P40. That's being taken out. They're going to show. So that concludes my tour of this incredible facility here. If you get out to uh, Chino, California, definitely get to uh, Plains of Fame Museum. This place is unlike any military or airplane museum I've ever been to. So hope you liked the tour. See you in the next video.